Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Johnson County deputies, along with Sheriff Dwayne Price, began their day looking for eight people indicted Wednesday by the Johnson County Grand Jury on drug trafficking charges, and one of those was 33-year-old Jonathan Mahan. And we finally, you know, in about an eight-month-long investigation, or probably better, or, or more close to a year, we finally got him on some controlled buys, audio, video. So we're going to pay him a little visit this morning and break the bad news to him. While at Jonathan Mahan's residence, however, deputies ended up arresting three other people. And lo and behold, in his driveway, there were two individuals. One of them his brother and I guess his little girlfriend. Uh, I ran them both through dispatch, and she came back with a warrant on her. And when we were searching the, um, the other individual, he had uh, a loaded needle. He tells us it's Suboxone. Arrested at that residence, in addition to Jonathan Mahan, were Joshua Mahan, Haley Joseph, and Susanna Moore. Sheriff Price said that many of the indictments they're getting now are for trafficking in a substance becoming more prevalent in Johnson County called crystal ice. It comes into larger cities and it just trickles on down the line and we've got that problem here and it's all coming out of Mexico. And that's what we're out here trying to combat. Let's put a stop to as much of it as we can. Deputies also arrested 56-year-old Jeffrey Collins and 45-year-old Tammy Stumbo later in the day, leaving four people with arrest warrants stemming from Wednesday's indictments. Those are Clinton Castle, Everett Haney, Billy R. Tackett, and Jeremy Boggs. In Paintsville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.